Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey Guys, and this video is a very, very, very special video because Kawaii Box emailed me and asked me, Hey, Casey Cat, do you want to do a review and giveaway with a Kawaii Box? I'm like, Yes, but I already had a Kawaii Box subscription and I already did an October Kawaii Box unboxing. So, you know what they said? They said, Girl, we got you. How would you like to do an unboxing for Japan Candy Box? I'm like, Yes, give me, give me, give me, give me. And they send it over, and here it is, the October candy box. So I am super excited about this because I absolutely love Japanese candy and snacks. So I'm very excited about this. And this is the October one. It took almost a little over a month to get here, but it's here, it's thick, it's heavy, and it's going to be delicious. But before we unbox this, don't forget you can check me out on all my social media. Those will be down in the description below. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, Subscribe to my channel for more fun anime content. I post a video every Saturday at 11 a.m. And guys, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, it's so simple. There's a link down in the description below. Click it and you'll be entered into the giveaway. So let's jump on it. All right, guys, let's go ahead, unbox this, and see what we got. And also do a taste test. Whoo, it's big. Right. So the first thing we have here is, ooh. These look spicy. They look a little bit scary, honestly. So I believe I've seen these before. Um, they are habanero uh, potato chips, I believe. Let me go ahead and open this. Okay, I'll throw that on the ground because I'll just pick it up later. All right. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, ready, set, itakimasu. No, wait, itakimasu. Still learning. Mmm. Those are good. Okay. So there's a bunch in there. Mmm. These look really good. Okay. That's them. They have, I think that's um how spicy they are. They're five spice units. Mmm. But those are good. I'm definitely gonna be eating those later. Mmm. So that bag does not have the Ziploc thing, sadly. Okay. So let's go on to the next one. Ooh, it is pop, pop. Oh, it's not pocky, but these are topo, to to I believe is what they're called. And they're like inverse pocky. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this. We're gonna, oh, they come in these cute little packets and they do show you how to open it, but I'm gonna open it like this. Not satisfying, I'm oh, boxing. All right. All right, so these are like inverse Pocky. Where did I put the box? The box is right here in front of me. So these are uh, pretzels with chocolate in them. So they're kind of like Pocky, but it's the inverse Pocky and I got a broken one. Oh well. That just fell on the floor. Luckily that packet wasn't, oh, uh, wasn't open, so nothing fell out. Okay, ready? All. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like exactly like Pocky. Mmm. Okay, let's get them all. Oh well. So if you see inside it, it has complete chocolate through it. It's like a breadstick with chocolate in it. Mm. All right. All right, everyone. We're gonna be fat later. Woohoo! Sweet. Mm. Oh. Right. Ooh, what are you? That's heavy. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Fruit makes gummies. Okay. So it. Ooh, it's jelly beans. But um, the flavors are mixed up. Um. So let's try one. There we go. All right, so one thing you gotta love about Japanese snacks and candy is that most of them come with these resealable packets. So if you don't finish it, just re-zip it. It also helps with unboxing videos. Okay, so let's try this one. Ooh, it's an orange one. Ready, and go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mmm. That is delicious. Mm. No, no, no. Oh. See? Mm. 
god. I love these. These are mm, Japan, America. Get on these. These are good. Oh my gosh. Mm, absolutely phenomenal. They're perfect. Definitely per and normal. Okay. Um. Okay. So what are you? Oh. Um. What are you? Here's what they look like. They almost look like ramen noodles, maybe dried ramen noodles, or um, that bread and stuff they put in soups. Let's try it. Okay, got it. Okay, so that's what they look, where's my camera? There was my camera. Okay. So they look like dried ramen noodles. Hmm. Hmm. They're, they're good. Mmm. These are really good. Oh. Mmm. Alright, guys. For the next five minutes, I'm going to be eating these. Oh. Mm. Guys, go click that link in the description below. Try, get yourself one of these boxes. Oh, my gosh. That is so good. Mmm. Japanese snacks are literally the best. I mean, American snacks are good, but Japan can come up with some really, really creative, delicious, and very, very cute snacks. Okay, so what's this? Ooh, this is, um, I'm not sure. What are you? You look like you would be a chocolate bar. Yes, open this mummy up. <laughs> Why didn't I bring scissors with me? Guys, when you do all of these box unboxing videos, make sure you have scissors somewhere, whether it be hidden on your little bookshelf or next to you. Okay. Because your girl Casey didn't pack any for some odd reason. Oh, she got melted. Oh. Okay. But it looks delicious. It <laughs> That looks good. It looks like it has some... Um, mm. It is melted. So, okay. Ready, set. I didn't expect that. Mmm. That is really good. It. Mmm. It t reminds me of like a Twix bar. Without the caramel. It has like Rice Krispies in it. And it has like a biscuit in it. But the chocolate biscuit. So it's like chocolate. Um, dark chocolate right here. I can tell it's dark chocolate. Because your girl loves some dark chocolate. Mm. All right, and because it's so small, I'm going to go like this. No one's complaining. Except my weight. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. This is, it's literally just a joke. Mm. Okay. Mm. What is next? Ooh. Uh, these are the um, Pokemon Cocoa Puffs. We got these in the Kawaii box. We're gonna try them again. Oh my gosh. You know, they look like Pikachu's head. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. You know what would be really cool? If they made almost all the, all the original Pokemon from the first season into these Cocoa Puffs. That would be really, really cute. All right, ready? And go. Oh. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. They're not heavy on the chocolate flavor, which I kind of like after I just ate that chocolate bar. So, it is good. I'm going to save those for later. Okay. What are you? Oh, sorry. It's backwards. Okay. So, we have Witch's Brew. Um. Ah, uh, let's see. Japanese, Japanese. Okay, so... Um, okay, so I'm guessing it's a fruit snack, maybe. Mm. From the feel of it, it feels like almost like gumballs. So we're going to save this for last because I want to save the gumballs for last. Ooh, 
Okay, here. <clears throat> I am so sorry, guys. Um, so oh, these are fun. These are stamps, and they're candy stamps. So you take the stamp and can lick it, and they can stamp yourself or other things, and it's really cool. But when you eat them, they dye your entire mouth that color. So, um, I'm gonna try these on my social media. So if you want me to um, watch me. Do the stamps. Follow me on all my social media. I'll be doing that in the description. Or all my social media will be down in the description below. Okay. So this feels like the last thing. Ooh. These are uh, Koala's March cookies. We have these at my local uh, grocery store in the Japanese section. And they are so good. Um, these are the chocolate ones, and it looks like it's their Halloween edition. So you have the little boy, and you have the little girl. And one of the things I like about these cookies is that the each cookie has a different design, where it's there. And so they're really cool. And look at the top of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and open this. And while I'm opening this, I want to ask you guys something. What is your favorite flavor of this? What's your favorite flavor of Pocky? That's your question. So personally for me, I actually prefer matcha over all the flavors. I know, right? So I like the savory taste of it. I don't, I think that's why. Um, so I love, love, love matcha. Not many people do and I'm not sure why. I think they just have a bad rap, sadly. Okay. Ah, let me see if I can hold it. Can you see? Ooh, cute. So this is the first one. All right, so. Mmm. There are biscuits, like cookies, and then they have chocolate in them. These are the chocolate flavor, and they're really, really good. Mm. They're like, um, we're gonna put that down, and I'm gonna eat those later. Mmm. Sorry. And then, they have strawberry, matcha, and chocolate. I've tried matcha, uh, not matcha, I've tried strawberry and chocolate, and personally, I like the chocolate one better because it's not as artificially sweet. But I do like the matcha. I do want to try the matcha flavor as soon as my grocery store gets it. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. Mm. Oh, this was at the bottom. So this is our sheet. And let's go ahead and read what we got really quick. Oh, and the word of the month and the event of the day. If you guys don't know, every one of my unboxings, I read the word of the month and the event of the month. So this word of the month is Okana. Okanai. Um, it means scary. And fun fact, guys, another way to say scary in Japanese is kawaii. Not kawaii, kawaii. Um, just a fun fact for you guys. Okay, so maho, the event of the month is maho no hai. It means magic day and it's October 31st. How cool is that? All right, so the chips, um, the habanero chips, uh, boku no habanero spicy potato rings. And then the Koala's March Halloween Party Pack, limited edition. Um, the gummy bears, not the gummy bears, the jelly beans are Mysterious Halloween Subiyu, Subu, Suba, Sub, um, gummy jelly beans. The um, pretzel sticks are Halloween Topo Choco Pretzel Sticks. Um, and then the little ramen things are Halloween Night Baby Star Ramen Snacks. And then the Halloween Pokemon Choco Corn Puff Snacks. The Scary Monster Stamp Candies. And these little things are Witch's Brew Mixed and Match Gumballs. Mm. Ooh, oh my gosh, these are so pretty, guys. Um, they are pastel. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love pastel colors, if you guys, just let you guys know. So let's try the pink and purple. Okay, I'm just gonna have this handful. Ready, set, oh. Mmm. Not a very distinct flavor. Mmm, probably because they ate all those other snacks. Mmm. Now the flavors come through. Oh my god, that is so good. Mmm. That is delicious. Alright, so it looks like on the pack that you can mix the gumballs to make different flavors, which I think is a pretty cool idea. 
All right, guys, that was our last snack. And guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. And then remember, if you're not already subscribed, you should totally subscribe to my channel for more anime Japanese content. I post a video every Saturday at every Saturday at 11 a.m. And guys, go click my link in the description below. Go enter the giveaway. You won't regret it. All right, guys, I will see you all next week. Sayonara. Meow.